Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 7.4 from Zadigu book. So the question is, the switch in the figure 7.84 has been in position A for a long time. Assume the switch moves instantaneously from A to B at T is equal to 0. Find V for T is equal to T is greater than 0. So V is here. So whenever we have some switch here, we need to consider the case before and after the switch is closed or opened. So in this case, we have the switch is moved from A to B at time is equal to 0. So we, have, we will have two cases. So the first case is when T is less than 0, so before the switch is moved and after the switch is moved. So when t is greater than 0. So now let's consider the first case first. So when t is less than 0. Okay, when t is less than 0, the switch is in the position A. So let's draw the circuit. In is when t is less than zero maybe i need to move this somewhere else so now when t is less than zero i will i still have this 44 voltage right for the source okay it's 40 and then i will have that 5 kilo ohm resistor and because the switch in the position A you have this going all the way the head and we will have a capacitor here and capacitor because this one has been in position A for a long time a capacitor will equal to open circuit okay so we will have this circuit here when t is less than zero so we will have v here yes. and because there are there is no current that pass through this 5 kilo ohm resistor the voltage here will equal to the voltage here and the voltage here will be 44 so v when t is less than zero is equal to 44 okay this is the first important value that we need to save okay now let's consider the case when t is greater than zero so the switch is now in the position b right so we don't have this 40 volt voltage source and this 5 kilo ohm resistor so we only have this 2 kilo ohm resistor okay so i have 2 kilo ohm resistor and i still have that capacitor why because it's not it's not for a long time so we will have transient condition and we still have that capacitor there okay And that will be 10 micro. Okay, now what can we do from here? I think we need to do some KCL at this node. Okay, so now let's assume the current that pass through the resistor and the capacitor. Okay. And the current that pass through this capacitor will be this okay, this V, right? This is V and this is plus minus. So I will have V over 2 kilo ohm. Yeah, V over 2 kilo. And then plus this one. Remember that the current that pass through capacitor will be C dV dt, right? So I'll have 10 
micro and then TV of a TV okay and that will equal to zero and I want to multiply this by what because this is micro maybe I will multiply this by 1 million yeah maybe 1 million is enough 10 to the 6 okay if we have 10 to the 6 here so I will have 500 right 500 V 500 V really 1 million divided by 2000 will be yeah 100 okay 500 right and then plus 10 and we'll have dv over dv and that will equal to zero and i think we can still simplify this maybe 54 plus dv over dv that will equal to zero and this is the difference equ differential equation that we need to solve so we have this differential equation and this is the initial condition Okay, now maybe we will use red here. So to solve this, I think I need to move this 50 V to the right hand side. So I will have dV over dt is equal to minus 50 V. And I want to use the separation of variables. So I move all the V into the left hand side and all the T to the right hand side. So I will have dv over v will equal to minus 50 t okay now we can integrate both sides here and so i will have len v is equal to ah sorry this should be dt this will equal to minus 50 t plus some constant and we can exponentiate both sides so i'll have v is equal to e minus 50 t plus some constant or we can rewrite this as like this right and e to the c1 is just some constant so let's just name it as a so i will have v which is a function of time that will be a e to the minus 50 t. Okay, this now also a very important function here. But we can, we still need to find out this a here. And how to find out a from this initial condition. Remember that the voltage in a capacitor cannot change instantaneously, so at v exactly 0 there still will be 44 okay so i will have v0 is equal to 40 volt and v0 means that when we plug 0 to this equation so i will have a e to the minus 50 multiplied by 0 because t is 0 and that will equal to 40 Okay, so now let's cancel this out because this is equal to 1, right? e to the 0 is equal to 1. So I will have a is equal to 40. So finally, 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 we have our solution which is vt is equal to 40 e to the minus 50 t. And this condition is 40 greater than 0. So this is our final answer. Hopefully I did not make any mistakes in the calculation. And I think I did not. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.